Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, you guys? It's Gray Sands, and today I'm coming to you with another YouTube video. Um, sorry, guys, if there's a lot of noise. I'm filming outside. I wanted to try something different, so yeah. Um, today I have a story time video. Basically, it's how I got a chemical burn from a face mask. Yeah, that was not clickbait. This is just acne. Just ignore that. It's just acne. Um, I went to the hospital. All that's true. And I'm going to tell you the story right now. Okay, so what's up, guys? Change of scenery. Sorry about that. Basically, this is how it happened. I went to the supplement store with my mom. It was like Whole Foods, but without like the foods part. So it was just like vitamins and like healthy stuff for you protein powders and all that type of stuff and like snacks they had snacks they had like like different aisles so the aisle i went into was the hair and face aisle you know like when you go into a regular store so i went and i got two things i got an acne wash which is this let's see is it gonna wanna focus so this acne see acne dough deep pore wash by alba botanica and then I got their face mask, which I'll put here. I'll put a picture here because I'm such a fool and I threw it out at the hospital, even though I should have saved it for this video. So I got those two things. I come home and I'm like all excited to use the stuff you already know when you get new stuff. So I wash my face with this wash and then I use the face mask. So it's like a sheet mask. You put it on your face, and it's like it only has cutouts for like your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And you can pull the nose cutout down. So I have that on. Directions say leave it on for 15 minutes. So I sit down. I start chilling out on my bed. You know, watching Logan Paul vlogs. You know how we do here. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay. This is starting to like feel weird. Starting to like tingle on my face. But I read the directions and I read like the little explanation thing. It said if it tingles, then that's good. That means it's working. So I'm like, all right, chill. Like, it's working. Yes, like, it's doing its job. That's amazing. So I have it on. This is like three minutes in. So time progresses, you know, as time does. And it's like four, five, six. And I'm like, in a couple, in minutes. We're talking in minutes. Like, this thing started like gradually burning my face. So I'm like, <laughs> Okay, this is not that fun anymore. This is really starting to burn my face. My face felt hot So I'm like, okay, I should maybe take this off, you know, it was like two bucks You know, that's two bucks that I didn't fully get used for but I'll make another two dollars and I'll buy it again if I want to so I take it off and my face is scorching hot and it is blood red Here's a video that I took, you know, like immediately after because you know hashtag YouTube life you know how it is so which that video doesn't even do it justice my face was so red so I immediately got freaked out my face is on fire at this point so I'm like okay like fire um opposite of fire cold so I start like drowning myself in cold water like I'm just washing and washing my face and the direction said that after the face mask was done to like massage the serum in your face i was like ha no so i like everything i took off i took off all the product completely and i'm like my face is burning me so i'm like freaking out i'm just water and water and water so that i go downstairs and i show my mom and i show my brother <laughs> at first they thought this was a joke they were laughing but then it started getting gradually worse so then my face was like even more red than it was before at this point, it wasn't even funny to anyone because my face was burning me. Like, I felt like I was getting burned, like fire burned. So, I'm like, okay, this ain't no joke no more. This is not funny. This is not fun. And so, like, I'm freaking out at this point. And my mom's, like, pretty concerned as well. So, like, we get ice. We put ice on my face and all that stuff. But the burning was just not going away. And it's getting worse and worse as time goes on. So, I'm like, oh, okay, you know. I go back upstairs, you know. That's when I vlogged. And I go back upstairs, you know. I'm like... Am I gonna be able to sue this company? You know, I like gotta get that footage, you know. Cause if I'm gonna have my face chemically burned forever, I might as well get some money out of it. Anyways, it turned out all okay. You know, this happened yesterday. By the time you guys are seeing this, this will have happened like three days ago. So it happened yesterday. My face is fine to me. So, um, so it's burning. It's like 
on fire at this point. So I'm like, okay, I need to do something because this is gonna get worse and this might like permanently damage my face. So I go back downstairs and I'm like, yo, mama, is, I'm dying right now. And so like, she's like, do you wanna go to the hospital? I'm like, cause let me tell you, let me tell you guys something. I despise the hospital. I despise having to go to the doctors, pediatricians, whatever the I hate it with a burning passion. And you know, like props to doctors, they're saving lives every day, pediatricians, you know what you're doing, you went to med school for like eight years. Thank you for you being alive, but I just, I just hate the doctors. Like having to go there so much and I'm like, I was about to just, you know, like let my face burn, but I'm like, yeah, I gotta go to the hospital because I have to record a YouTube video tomorrow for my homies. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta go. So we get a bunch of ice. I have ice on my face this whole time and I'm taking Snapchats. I had a live Snapchat story. Like I'm, I'm Snapchatting this whole thing going on. By the way, if you want to see more of my Snapchats so you won't miss out on things like this, my Snapchat will be right here. You know, like add me, snap me, do all that jazz. So we get to the hospital and we have to go through like the security, whack behind security check. It was like, we had to make sure we didn't have medals on us and whatever. No one was actually there checking. Anyways, we go through that thing. And then, you know, I'm waiting there, which I'm so happy this wasn't like a dire emergency, even though it was pretty serious at the time, but there's worse emergencies because for them to even like get started with me, it took like 20 minutes. And then for me to actually see a doctor, it's like like 40, so. So then they check my weight, they check, you know, if I have a fever and all that stuff. And then they put me back into the waiting room. So I'm waiting there with my mom and it's like starting to calm down, but it's still hurting. And it was like starting to get gradually less red, which <coughs> shout out to my skin. I don't know what you did, but thank you. So they took me inside completely into like the rooms. Um room number 13 you know how we do so um they give me some benadryl and they check on my face and all that stuff and i'm gonna be okay so i'm like so happy to hear that news i'm gonna be okay my face is not damaged permanently it was just having an allergic reaction a chemical allergic reaction you know so that way i can still make content for you guys you know that's my that was like my main concern yes <laughs> apart from the fact that you know my face could be like permanently damaged i was like how am I gonna make a YouTube video, you know? So, they gave me a bandage draw, all that, and I'm okay, so I go home. By the time I was home, you know, like an hour later, I was completely fine. Here's the moral of that story. Number one, make sure you know what your face can handle, what you are and are not allergic to before you even buy anything. Make sure you read the ingredients on the back, make sure you know what the main chemicals that you're allergic to are, and if anything, just try and stay away from chemicals at all. Just make a face mask at home. Number two, do a patch test. Do it on like a little inconspicuous part of your face just in case it freaks out like mine did. Just do it on a little part or maybe on your hand, something, I don't know. Just do a patch test first so you don't have to go through your whole face potentially getting damaged forever. And number three, you know, just enjoy the skin that you're in because while I was at the hospital, people are like, you know, I don't even see acne on you. And it, like, it's so easy to get sidetracked and like you think that your stuff is worse than it actually is. So, you know, just don't be too hard on yourself. Don't look in the mirror too much because that makes you more self-conscious. Guys, I'm okay. <laughs> Thankfully, like if you're happy that I'm okay. If you're not happy that I'm okay, still give this a thumbs up. Alba Botanica, don't worry, I'm not suing you guys. So it's lit. Actually, I think I might have made my skin better. I know you guys can't see this like that well, but I think I made it better actually. Even though I had to go through like pure horror, basically. I was scared out of my freaking mind and it was painful. Um, if you have skin like mine, beware of what you're putting on it. Um, that face mask obviously did not work for me. I have oily and apparently sensitive skin. So if you have oily or sensitive skin, be careful of that product. I can't speak for the rest of the skin types because I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Like this if you want me to do more story times or if you just like this video in total. And leave a comment down below if something like this has ever happened to you. Or you know what? Face masks you recommend for my skin type because you know what? I'm just living on the edge. If you like the look of this face, then make sure to check me out on my social medias. You know, 
gram me, tweet me, snap me, all that jazz, they'll be right here. And make sure to subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday. And make sure to tap that bell so you get notifications of every time I post. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Friday.